Hey there, it's Glenn Davidson from uh, Microsurvey and Like a Public Safety. Thanks for coming in and checking out my second uh, video here, which is a 10 minute kind of explainer on Map360 Sketch. So we're gonna start from nothing and we're gonna build up to a complete diagram. So hope you enjoy and, and follow along. And here we go. So the main problem we find agencies are having is you need to document critical incidents. You need to do that fairly quickly and accurately, but sometimes you don't have the right equipment or it doesn't work or your people aren't uh, trained to do it. And then once they are get trained, they get promoted out. So what we're gonna do today is create a diagram like this. Um, so we're gonna do car versus bike. Um, and we're really gonna show you how you do, can do that without any equipment. So just a tape measure, a notebook, and, and, and your phone, and you should be all set. So we're just gonna pretend this is a real life scenario. So something happens, there's in this case an accident. We're, we're nearby, so we're gonna go by and, and document it as best we can. So we're gonna make sure the area is safe, everything's okay. Um, and then we're gonna get to work on collecting evidence. So first thing we do when we're gonna roll up, we're gonna grab our trusty phone and we're gonna find out where we are. So this is just down the street from my house. Um, in Richmond, British Columbia, so we can know what the GPS is, and we can take a screenshot on our phone, and that's a good start. Just to so we can we can grab actually images later. So we can then go snap some evidence of our scene. So we have some of the bike victim here, where his water bottle flew to, and of the neighborhood. So next step, we're going to grab our tape measure, and we can actually. We're going to designate a reference point here, and then we're going to measure from that point. So here's my very tidy writing of what that would look like to document, you know, where the bike was, where the victim was, and this is all in, in meters. So you may want to collect whatever you want, skid marks, other evidence, at rest positions, um, are all good things to do and make a note of, you know, what the weather was like and that sort of thing. So now we're, you'll notice we're back in the office here. So it's, I'm showing what it would look like if I'm at my computer. So we can start to work with reference photos, both Google and Bing work. I'm, in my example, we're gonna show how um, you can use Bing. But remember when we looked at our phone, we can easily go back and bring that intersection up in our favorite mapping program. We will have the GPS of that, or you can request it in Google Maps or Bing. Um, and one of the cool new features both of them do is this measure distance function. So you'd want to do this on the scene, but in a pinch, if you forgot, you could actually go and find out, in this example, our footbridge here is 4.12 meters. So we can actually use that to scale the image at a later point. Um, so. We're gonna save this up, then we're gonna fire up Map360 Sketch in this example. So we just need the basic tools that are in there. So we're gonna name our scene, we're gonna click OK. Now, what we're gonna do is show you how to bring in the, that image layer. So in Map360, you can attach any sort of images. This is just gonna be a, um, an aerial image and we're actually gonna use the built-in Bing Map Viewer. So I pasted in the GPS from my scene and hit search and lo and behold it's a couple years old mind you but it, it's going to work for our drawing so we can take that and import that directly into map 360 now we've got an an ortho mosaic uh, reference image um, and we have it set to the imagery layer so we can just align it get it how we want it and then we can start building upon that so um, if you have a drone, we could use a GeoTIFF for this, um, so it would include the scene, Im you know, as you shot it. But if you just want basic reference imagery, we get it on its own layer to start with. So, next step would be to scale this image. So, under our Data tab, we can have the Scale Image button. And so, we're just selecting on our image here, and then we're going back to the, our trusty footbridge. Um, that we measured and we know that's 4.12 meters. So we just select our first point and our second point um, on the image and enter it into the program. And it's gonna scale that image to match so that when we check our dimensioning going forward, 
um, it's going to be accurate. So that's a, how we would do that. Um, so the next step, we can just start to get to draw our lines. So in Map360, there's a full suite of tools for, for drawing lines, arcs, circles, and all, all the different CAD tools we have included. So um, we have all, everything is drag and drop. We can do, you know, in this example, we're doing the center line. We can do crosswalks, and many of them are all pre predefined. But you can actually um, measure within the scene to get the exact widths and and get as detailed as you like. I'm just doing a quick fly through here of all the different uh, all the different lines that are in here. Um, so if you want to take more time, you can go ahead and take as much as you like. But it's an example of how we can take that reference image, scale it, and then we can just start doing our line work right on top of there and start to flesh out our drawing. Um, I forget, oh yes, I, I grabbed the crosswalk line here so we can kind of have a look at that. Uh, you know, that's a bit fat. We may have to adjust that, um, but it gives you an idea of all the tools. So next up, we can actually start to add in our points. So we've got our notebook here. We've got all our descriptions right now what so we actually have a baseline offset tool in map 360 sketch you just grab it and drop it on your scene so we're matching it up with what we just designated as our 000 right here where the two um, uh, pavements kind of join is is what i took the measurements from so then we just can simply um, do our north south east and west of that reference point so Right now we're doing the um, south reference for, for something. So this is where the bike was. Um, and you just basically tab through this table and it's going to go plot. You'll notice here on the drawing we actually have our first point created for where the bike was. Uh, we can say the victim was a little bit farther down and so on and so forth. So it doesn't matter how many measurements you have. You can actually drop multiple different baseline tools in a single drawing. Um, so that's up to you how, how detailed you want to get. Um, but in the basics, we're here, we're just doing where the victim was, where the truck was, and we can save all that information. Now, on top of these points, we can add symbols. So we have a full symbol library that has any sort of um, symbol you could want. In this example, I'm just showing the 2D body poser, so you can articulate each leg and arm and um, and move them around as you like and and then move more symbols on. So once you have your symbols on, we can get into adding evidence. And evidence, in this example, we're doing evidence markers. So you can drop an evidence marker within your scene. And on any evidence marker, what I'm showing in here is you can actually go in and attach any additional content to that marker. So if it's a picture, if it's an audio note, if even if it's a video, you can attach it to that marker and it becomes embedded in your drawing and it becomes viewable later on in your evidence report. So you're tying your evidence to, you know, spatially where that evidence was um, and you can create a full legend of it as well so that um, it's easy to digest and you know what what places are where in mine I also added all the pictures for um, the scene as well so you can drop an evidence marker that shows your west east north south so you can kind of get a full panorama of the scene so at the end this is what you're kicking out a full drawing and evidence report you know, so this publishes as a PDF. You don't need any fancy viewers to view it. Anyone that can open a PDF can open up this report. So our our reports and drawings offer full layer support. So we're just going to publish that um, and export this document and the scene as a PDF. So we just name it. Um, we can go turn on our layer support here, um, set up the styles we want if we want landscape or portrait um, and then we got our document done and ready to go out so 
you know, I hope you enjoyed this. This is how we're kind of at the final part here where the, you know, you can go and share that off with your um, department or with the prosecutors or, or what have you. Um, we can add the title page. I think that's what we're doing here. Um, and then you're, you're kind of set to go. So you have a full drawing, you'll have a full evidence report. All you've used is a phone, Map360, and Notepad to create this. So hope that helps. Kind of get a feel for what you can make in Map360 very quickly and easily. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to myself or the team at Microsurvey. We appreciate you and all that you do uh, serving your communities and just hope you can uh, use some of our tools to, to accurately um, draw and have diagrams of what happened at any critical incident. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much and take care.